Hello, and welcome to the 2022 edition of the Houndy Awards. And unlike the Academy Awards this year, we will be presenting all of the categories. I'm your charismatic and good-looking host, Nate Richard. You may be asking yourself, what exactly are the Houndies? Well, it, it's actually been something I've been doing for quite some time. And the last two years I did it on my movie blog, Movie Hound, hence the name The Houndies. But this year I wanted to go a little bit bigger, more grand. So back in January I had the brilliant idea of making this a video. I guess I procrastinated a little bit too much. But here we are now, it's Oscar weekend. We're going head to head with the Academy Awards. It's going to be so much better. There was plenty of great movies in 2021, and unfortunately, I didn't get to see everything before I made these nominations. So movies like The Worst Person in the World, or The Tragedy of Macbeth, or The Lost Daughter aren't going to be on here. Would they, if I had seen them on time? Oh yeah, for sure. But this is the best of what I can do. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the awards. We don't need any sketches or stupid jokes. Maybe we do. Anyways, so up first we'll be presenting two of my favorite awards, Best Breakout Actor and Best Breakout Actress. And presenting these two awards is my friend Connor Carey and my sister Crystal Richard. Take it away, guys. Hello, my name is Connor Carey, and I'll be presenting this year's Houndy Award for Best Breakthrough Actor. And the nominees are as follows. David Alvarez for West Side Story, Mike Faced for West Side Story, Michael Gandolfini for The Many Saints of Newark and Cherry, Jude Hill for Belfast, Cooper Hoffman for Licorice Pizza, Robin DeJesus for Tick, Tick, Boom, Troy Kotzer for Coda, Samu Liu for Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, Woody Norman for Come On, Come On, and Anthony Ramos for In the Heights. And the Houndie for Best Breakthrough Actor goes to Mike Fates for West Side Story. Congratulations, Mike. Hi, I'm Crystal. I'm Nathan's sister, and I am here to announce the nominees for the Houndie for Breakthrough Actress. So our nominees are Melissa Barrara, Ariana DeBose, Leslie Grace, Alana Heim, Patty Harrison, Amelia Jones, Daniela Melquire, Rachel Sennett, Sanaya Sidney, and Rachel Zegler. And our winner for this year's Houndy for Breakthrough Actress is Rachel Zegler. Now back over to you, Nathan. Thank you. So one of the questions you're probably asking is who votes on the Houndies? Well, the Houndies have a voting body of one, and that person is... No, that's Evan Hansen. No, that's Mark Wahlberg. Screw it, it's me. I'm the guy who decides on the Houndies. So next up, we have my friend Ross Bambenek with Best Production Design. Take it away, Ross. Thank you, Nathan. Hello, everybody. I am Ross Bambenek co-host of the Binge Picture Podcast, a movie podcast that is officially the third worst podcast on the internet. And I am here to introduce the Houndy Award for Best Production Design. So without further ado, here are the nominees for Best Production Design in a Film in 2021. Tamara DeVell for Nightmare Alley. Marcus Rowland for Last Night in Soho. Adam Stockhausen for The French Dispatch. Adam Stockhausen again for West Side Story and Patrice Vermette for Dune. And the winner is... Patrice Vermette for Dune. That's all I got. So, back to you, Nate. Thanks for having me. Next up, we have the... Ben Nelson with the award for Best Visual Effects. Take it away, Ben. Hello there, Houndy crowd. My name is Ben Nelson, and I will be reading you the nominees for 
the Houndie for best visual effects. Now, movies are always meant to be spectacles. And some of the best spectacles out there have been awarded for their visual effects. So they always have been from 2001, A Space Odyssey to the Lord of the Rings trilogy, from The Matrix to Ex Machina. Movies can do that for us. They are meant to show us things that really can't happen in the, happen in the real world. And some of these has done so spectacularly. The nominees for best visual effects are Dune, Ghostbusters Afterlife, The Green Knight, Spider-Man No Way Home, and The Suicide Squad. And the winner for best visual effects is Dune. Congratulations to the Dune team. Congratulations to Denis Villeneuve. I'm so excited. I personally think that was the right choice. Back to you, Nate. You know what? I think we should give away one of our biggest awards. So we have my friend Will Martinez with the award for Best Supporting Actor. Here we go. Hi everyone, my name is Will Martinez. I'd like to thank uh, Nate Richard for allowing me to present the award for Best Supporting Actor in a Motion Picture for the Houndies this year. And as without further ado, here are the nominees for this year's Supporting Actor race. Ben Affleck in The Last Duel, Reed Barney and Mass, Bradley Cooper, Licorice Pizza, Jamie Dornan for Belfast, Mike Fass for Rust Side Story, Syrian Hines for Belfast, Jason Isaacs for Mass, Troy Kotsner for Coda, Woody Norman for Come On, Come On, and Jeffrey Wright for The French Dispatch. And without further ado, the winner is Troy Kotsner for Wakoda. And I want to congratulate Troy for that because, in my personal opinion, he is he was easily the best supporting actor of any movie from last year. So good, uh, good job, Nate, for <laughs> selecting that choice. And without further ado, I now bring it back to Nate. Thank you again for having me on. Thank you, Will. Next up, we have my friend Parker Carlson with the Houndie Award for Best Editing. Thank you, Nate. There were a lot of great films coming out this year, but only five could be nominated for the Houndies Award of Best Editing. Those five nominees are Andy Jurgensen for Licorice Pizza, Michael Kahn and Sarah Braska for West Side Story, Christian Wagner and Fred Raskin for The Suicide Squad, Joe Walker for Dune, Una Ni. Una ni Honolev, 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 uh, Belfast is nominated for Best Editing. And the winner goes to Michael Kahn and Sarah Braskoff for West Side Story. Congratulations. Back to you, Nate. Thank you, Parker. Next up, we have Gaga for Best Voice Over Acting. Gaga? What's wrong? Gaga. Sad. Why is Gaga sad? Gaga has no help to present award. Well, I'll help you, Gaga. I'll announce the nominees and you announce the winner. Gaga wish to live for another day now. The nominees are Aquafina, Jack Dylan Grazer, Caleb Landry Jones, Denny McBride, and Sylvester Stallone. Go ahead, Gaga. Announce the winner. And the winner is Gaga. Try again. The winner is Sylvester Stallone. Congrats. Next up, we have Mike Thomas with the Houndy Award for Best Animated Feature. In the world of animation, we can tell stories that are a bit more fantastical than those in live action. It's a space where we can have singing competitions with anthropomorphic animals, adventures with mighty dragons, or a tale about sea creatures finding life on land. This year's nominees are all magical in their own way and feature those diverse and rich stories we've come to love from animation. Here are your nominees for the best animated feature. Encanto, Luca, 
The Mitchells versus the Machines. Raya and the Last Dragon. Sing 2. And the winner for Best Animated Feature Film is... Luca. Thank you, Mike. I'm a writer. And being a writer, I know that with every great movie, there has to be a great screenplay. So without further ado, here are my friends DC Boiling and Max Van Dongen with the awards for Best Adapted Screenplay and Best Original Screenplay. Take it away, guys. What is up, everybody? My name is DC Bowling, and I'm glad to be presenting here at the Houndies Awards. Um, I want to thank my good friend Nate for letting me join in this year. Um, if you guys don't know me, this is, yeah, this is uh, who I am in, in real life. Like, I love movies more than the average person, um, more, than, more than you know. Like, I can, I can just talk about it for days and days and days. Unless, unless it's, well, that's one type of I always like talking about. But today I am here to talk about best adapted screenplay. It's like original screenplay. So these are actually based off of source material that, been, came, that came out in the past. But which ones are the best? I'll say that there's, the five choices we got here are actually the best we've gotten, gotten so far in this award season. But what are the nominees? Here they are. The nominees are Coda, written by Sean Hader, The Last Duel, written by the Cole Huffman Center, Ben Affleck, and Matt Damon. The Power of the Dog, written by Jane Campion. Tick, Tick, Boom, written by Stephen Levinson. And West Side Story, written by Tony Kushner. I mean, look at that, look at that category. We have two musicals, two based off novels, and one that's actually a remake of a foreign film. Foreign film. But, but, but which one of these do you think is the best? Well, I'm about to announce that. The winner for best at that for the Houndy for best adapted screenplay goes to okay. I'm happy about that. Sean Hader for Coda. Congratulations, Sean Hader. You made an amazing film, a film that all of us love, and we're just hoping it gets a lot of awards buzz around this season. Thank you, Nate, for letting me join in. Um, I'm hoping to be back next year. Back to you. Yes, Mr. Tarantino, I promise you the story is set before shoes were invented. You're good to go. There will be plenty of opportunities for you. Absolutely. Hey, um, I have a small favor. Can I get paid? Hello? Quentin? Hi. I'm Max Van Dongen. Here are the nominees for Best Original Screenplay. Kenneth Branagh, Belfast. Mike Mills, Come On, Come On. Adam McKay and David Sirota, Don't Look Up. Paul Thomas Anderson, Licorice Pizza. Fran Kranz, Mass. And the winner is... <sighs> Licorice Pizza. Thank doggy heaven it was in Power of the Dog. Cinematography. What's better than a good looking movie? So next up we have my friend and former Real Deal co-host Marcos Carranza with the Houndy Award for Best Cinematography. Here we go. Hello, my name is Marcos Carranza. I'm very honored to be a part of this year's Houndy Awards. Today I'll be presenting to you the nominees for Best Cinematographer. And the nominees are Greg Frazier for Dune, Ruben Impens for Titan, Giannis Kaminsky for West Side Story, Ari Wegner for The Power of the Dog, and Harris Zambalokos for Belfast. The winner for this year's Houndy Award for Best Cinematographer is Giannis Kaminsky for West Side Story. Giannis, come come get your award. Are, are they here? Jan, Giannis, Giannis Kaminsky. Yeah, Gian, Giannis Kaminsky in the house. Anyway. Giannis, Thank you, Marcos. Next up, we have. 
Hazel. With the Hounie Award for Best Supporting Actress. Hi world! This is the one and only Hazel, the most important little girl in the whole wide world. Big Brother wanted me to help him with his award show, The Houndies, and I said only if we can play ball afterwards or I get a treat. He didn't respond, so I don't know. Anyways, here are the nominees for Best Supporting Actress. The nominees are Kytriona Balfi for Belfast, Kate Blanchett for Nightmare Alley, Ariana DeBose for West Side Story, Judy Dench for Belfast, and Dowd for Mass. Anjuane Ellis for King Richard, Regina King for The Harder They Fall, Marley Matlin for Coda, Rita Moreno for West Side Story, and Meryl Streep for Don't Look Up. And the Houndie for Best Supporting Actress goes to Ariana DeBose for West Side Story. Oh, hooray for you! And hooray for me being here. <laughs> Yay! Back to you, Nate. Bye-bye! Here at the Houndies, we have awards for lead actors and actresses, and supporting actors and actresses. This makes sense. But what about the ensemble? You know, when a cast is that good that you gotta award every actor? Well, here's Rex with the Houndy Award for Best Ensemble Cast. Hi, I'm Rex. My stepbrother asked me to be in his show, and I told him no. Then he said, he would ground me, so I said, sure. Anyways, here's the Houndie for Best Acting Ensemble. The nominees are Coda, uh, Look Up, Licorice Pizza, I guess sounds like a snack attack. I think I had one of those when nobody was looking. Okay, okay, focus, Rex. And then we have Mass and West Side Story. And the Houndie for Best Acting Ensemble goes to Mass. Congratulations, now back to you, bro. bro. Music, like original song and score. Well, that's what John Matthews and Matthew Simmons are going to present today. Take it away, boys. Hey, everyone. My name is John Matthews. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the Houndies so far. Um, I'm from Larryboxed.com uh, slash John Matthews, one T in my last name. Um... I'm thankful uh, that Nate reached out to me, um, and I'm honored to uh, be able to present the Houndy for Best Original Song. Um, so we got some really good nominees here, and without further ado, I'm going to introduce them to you right now. Um, so our nominees are, So May We Start from Annette uh, by Ron Mail and Russell Mail, uh, Edgar's Prayer from uh, Barb and Star Go to Vista Del Mar by Kristen Wiig and Annie Mumolo. Uh, Just Look Up from Don't Look Up uh, by Nicholas Bratel, Ariana Grande, Scott Mascudi, and Tora Stinson. Be Alive from King Richard uh, by Beyonce Knowles, Carter, and Dixon. And No Time to Die from, I'm not sure, uh, by from No Time to Die, by Billie Eilish and Phineas O'Connell. And the Hounie for Best Original Song goes to, drum roll, Edgar's Prayer from Barb and Star Go to Vista Del Mar. Very underrated movie. If you guys haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend it. It's, it's a good one. Um, so yeah, congratulations to Edgar's Prayer for winning the Houndie for Best Original Song. Thank you again, Nate, and I'll send it back to you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Please, please thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Matthew Simmons, and I'm here at the prestigious Houndies to announce the nominees and winner for the category that I hold near and dear to my heart, which is Best Original Score. Now you all already know how vital and integral music is to cinema, and I have no intentions of wasting your time here. So let's just jump right into the nominees. Here are the nominees for best original score. My boy, Nicholas Bertel for Don't Look Up. Johnny Greenwood for The Power of the Dog. Johnny Greenwood for Spencer. Dear God, does that guy ever sleep? The John Murphy for The Suicide Squad. And last but certainly not least, Hans Zimmer for Dune. And the Houndie 
for best original score is... They must have given me the wrong envelope. Nate, you can just... We, don't, we need to show that. And the actual winner of best original score is Johnny Greenwood for The Power of the Dog. Uh, congratulations, Johnny. And um, Academy, if you're listening, give Johnny the Oscar. Just do it. Please. We need this. Oh, um, you, you weren't. You weren't supposed to see this. Um. We are down to the final four awards of the night. The Houndy Awards for Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Director, and Best Picture. First up, let's take a look at Best Actor, presented by my friend Jeremy Crabb. Hi, my name is Jeremy, and I would first like to give Nate a huge thanks for giving me the prestigious honor of announcing the Houndy for Best Actor. These are the 10 best performances from leading men in 2021. And without further ado, here are the nominees. Mahershala Ali for Swan Song. Nicolas Cage for Pig. Bradley Cooper for Nightmare Alley. Benedict Cumberbatch for The Power of the Dog, Leonardo DiCaprio for Don't Look Up, Andrew Garfield for Tick, Tick, Boom, Jude Hill for Belfast, Cooper Hoffman for Licorice Pizza, Joaquin Phoenix for Come On, Come On, and Will Smith for King Richard. And the Houndy for Best Actor goes to... Let's see... Will Smith for King Richard. Congratulations, Will Smith. And back to you, Nate. Thank you, Jeremy. And congratulations to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air himself, Will Smith. Next up, we have Tiara Spells with the Houndy Award for Best Actress. I'm Tiara Spells, and these are the nominations for the Houndy for Best Actress. Jessica Chastain, The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Jodie Comer. The Last Duel, Lady Gaga, House of Gucci, Alana Hyam, Licorice Pizza, Rebecca Hall, The Night House, Amelia Jones, Coda, Nicole Kidman, Being the Ricardos, Agat Roussel, Titan, Kristen Stewart, Spencer, and Rachel Zegler for West Side Story. And the winner for The Houndy for Best Actress is Kristen Stewart for Spencer. Congratulations. And back to you, Nate. Next up, we have Jacob Ford with the Houndy Award for Best Director. Wow, we had some amazing films this year. And we have to give credit to the directors that delivered us with their unique visions, creativity, and brilliant storytelling. Without further ado, here are your nominees for Best Director. Paul Thomas Anderson, Licorice Pizza. Kenneth Branagh, Belfast, Jane Campion, The Power of the Dog, Julia Ducourneau, Titan, James Gunn, The Suicide Squad, Sean Hader, Coda, Fran Kranz, Mass, Adam McKay, Don't Look Up, Steven Spielberg, West Side Story, Denis Villeneuve, Dune. And the Houndy, for Best Director, goes to Steven Spielberg. Let's go, Steven. We are down to our final Houndy Award for the night. I mean, it's day when I'm recording this, but whatever. And it will probably be posted during the day, but... Okay, whatever. But that last award is Best Picture. And first off, I do want to thank everybody who contributed to this video. Uh, jokes aside, I really, really appreciate all of you for helping out and 
you know, it was great getting to see your faces again, even if it was on Zoom or through pre-recorded videos. I, I really, really appreciate it. And the nominees for The Houndy for Best Picture are Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, Dune, Licorice Pizza, Mass, Spider-Man, No Way Home, The Suicide Squad, Titan, and West Side Story. All right. And the Houndy for Best Picture goes to Licorice Pizza. Congratulations. Back to you now. Great. Well, that concludes our show for the Houndies of this year. I hopefully will see you guys again next year. And uh, we'll just see what the Academy does tomorrow night. All right, see ya.